Hi everybody, I'm Matt McMurray from Campus Automotive in Blacksburg, Virginia. And today we have mileage and wear updates on the Continental Terrain Contact AT. If you're new to Campus Automotive, we do tire comparisons, tire reviews, and lots of tire talk. So subscribe and hit the bell to keep up. So a couple years ago, we did a driving in the snow video on my 2007 Chevrolet Suburban. So it's been about two years and 50,000 miles worth of wear on these tires. So we're going to look today to see how much they've worn and, and when we're going to replace them. Over my other shoulder is my 2018 Ram 2500. About a year ago, we did a, a video, a selection video and an installation video on this truck when I put these guys on. So I got about 20,000 miles on this truck since that installation. So we'll look at the wear and mileage on that too. So I've had four sets of these Continental Terrain Contact ATs. I chose them at the time for my Chevrolet Silverado 2500 that was brand new at the time. I chose them to give me a little more all-terrain type of tread and traction. I had that on a, a 2015 Silverado. I traded that truck off, obviously, but now I've had a couple more vehicles that we put those on. We put those tires on the 2007 Chevrolet Suburban first, then we put them on the 2018 Ram second, and I also have a set on my personal Chevrolet Tahoe, which is at home. So before we dive into the tread, I want to talk a little bit about how they've held up and how I, how satisfied I've been with them. So on this Suburban, I've got 290,000 miles on this Suburban. So obviously it's well-worn. These tires with 50,000 miles on them look like they've worn very evenly. I've still got a lot of traction left in them. So I feel like the tires have held up pretty good on all the vehicles that I put the, this tire on. In particular, we've seen a con complete wear out on this Chevrolet Suburban. So we can get a good idea of what to expect on the range on the tires. And they've been great. They were great in the snow. They're great in the wet. They're great in the highway. They don't make any noise at all on the highway, which was awesome. They're strong. I haven't had any flats or punctures on the Suburban. On the Ram, same thing, just 20,000 miles on the Ram, but remember I tow that big fifth wheel, so they get a lot of severe duty use. It is winter time, so we've had a couple plowable snow events that we've had to use both trucks in the snow, and it's been great in the snow, so I'm super happy about that. On the Ram side, I have noticed, I've been rotating the tires every 10,000 miles, and I'm only running 55 pounds of air in these tires to give me a smooth, comfortable ride. So I have noticed since I rotate my tires back to the front and then cross the front to the back, they get to run in each position throughout the life of the tire. So what I've noticed is the last time I've rotated them, when they're moving the other direction than they usually move, I've noticed a little more noise out of the ram after that rotation. I haven't noticed the same problem on the Tahoe or the Suburban. So I think it might have to do something with the air pressure that I'm running. Might be running a little too low air pressure. Might be running a little too high air pressure. 10,000 miles may be too long on the rotation schedule. It may need to be done every 5,000 miles. But on the Ram, I only change my oil every 10,000 miles. So that's why I only rotate every 10,000 miles. Because I don't want to put it up on the lift any more than I have to. So let me know in the comments below what your rotation habits are on your different tires especially if you've ran these tires before and give me some feedback on what you guys are seeing. So let's just see how they're doing. So just a reminder, the size on this 2007 Chevrolet Suburban is 275-55 R20. Now new, these tires measure about 12, 30 seconds. They weigh about 40 pounds when new. Right now at 50,000 miles, we're at about 430 seconds on this outer tread band. We run 35 PSI in these tires and rotate them every 5,000 miles. So they're nice and evenly worn on all four corners. I think 50,000 miles is pretty good, especially when you got an older vehicle like this with a lot of miles on it. And it gets hard miles on it. A lot of stopping and starting, a lot of high speed interstate driving, just anything that you can imagine we put this vehicle through. So the outer tread band is right at 4 seconds of an inch, which is about three millimeters. If we take a measurement at the middle of the tread, we're a little bit less. We're probably at 2 seconds right in the middle. And then in the far tread band, we're a little bit above, so we're almost at 5 seconds. Actually, actually we're a little bit low at 3 seconds. Oh, I'm on a tread block, that's why. So 4.30 seconds. So outer's 4.30 seconds, inner's 4.30 seconds. So it's pretty evenly worn all the way across the tire. Now you can see these little wear bars here, 
that indicate two thirty seconds of an inch. Now in Virginia, that doesn't pass a state inspection at two thirty seconds of an inch. Right now, it does pass Virginia state inspection. But right now, we've lost a lot of our wet traction and, and handling and braking. So pretty soon, we're gonna go ahead and replace these tires. I do have a bad wheel, so I'm probably gonna put another set of wheels on this truck just to make it ride smoother. And hopefully we get another 50,000 miles on it. So that'll put us at about 340,000 miles on this 2007 Chevrolet Suburban. All right, so now we'll take a look at the wear on the Ram. So just as a reminder, the tires on my 2018 Ram 2500 with the Cummins 285-60R20, I run about 55 pounds in them, rotate them every 10,000 miles. So originally these tires have about 16, 30 seconds of an inch worth of tread on the tire. Now I'm sitting at about 10, 30 seconds. So after 20,000 miles, I've lost a little bit on that. But again, I do a lot of high speed interstate driving. I do haul a heavy fifth wheel. I am using this in the snow. So we're doing a lot of different things with this truck, hauling heavy weights and everything else. So that causes the tread to, to wear out. I do expect this tire to go over 50,000 miles, which is interesting because this is a much heavier tire than the tire on the Suburban. This tire weighs about 65 pounds when it's new. And the, you know, the one on the Suburban is about 40 pounds. So it's a significant amount of material, less material on the Suburban tire than on this tire that's on the ramp. So with my driving habits, I usually drive up somewhere around 25 to 30,000 miles per year on a vehicle. So I'm always on the road. I do a lot of high speed highway driving and it really will take a toll on an all-terrain tire. And that's why I chose this. So if you go back and check that video out of the three tires that I was gonna choose, I talk a little bit about that. All right, so the outer tread rib right at 10, 30 seconds. And the inner tread rib, exactly the same, 10, 30 seconds. So you can see that I have even wear across the tread. Now we, I talked a little bit earlier about as these tires move into the different position, sometimes when they're rolling in a different way, they might cause a little more noise. And I think the tires on the rear, since they were on the front, now they're running the opposite way. I think this middle section of the tread is causing a little more noise than I had before. The other sets of tires that I have on the Suburban and the Tahoe, they haven't done that, but on, for some reason on this, it has. I think it has something to do with the air pressure I'm running, maybe not running enough, even though if the tread is more even across the whole tread section, it may not be enough air in these tires, but I need for it to be smooth and quiet on the highway. So just to reiterate, you let me know in the comments below what your rotation schedule is, particularly if you've had these tires. So since I've had such good luck with the tires on the Suburban, I'm gonna do them again. I am gonna get another set of wheels because I do have a bad wheel, so I'll order those up. If there's any other tire that you'd like me to review or maybe compare to something else, please drop it in the comments below. I need some ideas. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and have a great day.